Hey guys, today I will show you how to replace starter on A320 APS 3200 APU. Whenever CBs are pulled, I need to get to the APU compartment, which is located on the tail of the aircraft. For that, I need at least 4 meter platform and open both APU compartment doors. And now where to find the starter? It is installed on the front face of the accessory gearbox of the APU. First of all, I need to remove connector through which ECB or electronic control box control the starter itself. Next are power cables. The starting system gets electrical power from the DC system of the aircraft. It is supplied by 28 volt DC from the battery bus through the fuses and the contactors to the starter motor. Now let's take a look how it works. Whenever we press start button, ECB energizes contactors through which starter motor is energized by 28 volt DC. The starter motor turns APU main shaft through the starter clutch module and the gearbox. At 55% APU speed, ECB turns the starter motor off. The starter clutch module disengages mechanically when the self-sustained APU speed is more than starter motor speed. The time acceleration logic of the ECB controls the APU acceleration during APU start. That was a little bit of theory and as you can see I already removed the old one, so it's time to install the new start. First of all I need to install new o-ring, which I already lubricated. This is location pin, it needs to fit exactly in the clutch module, which I will show you in a second. So again this is our pin, and here we have slot in the support assembly. By the way, next to the starter is a generator and if you want to know more about this component, click on the pop-up banner above or on the link in description below. As you can see, starter is in position, so now I need to tie the V-band clamp. And I'll speed it up a little bit to don't waste your time. And of course you need to be torqued to exact volume. And whenever V-Band is tight and correctly torqued, we can continue with the power cables. And of course, leads, washers and nuts need to be installed in correct sequence, which we'll find in AML. And the last thing is electrical connector P32. And as always, I'm not gonna use connector pliers with a soft jaw, so I'm not gonna damage connector. Whenever I'm sure that everything was checked, I can close APU compartment doors and proceed with the test. In the cockpit I'll close CBs. As a next step is operational test of APU fire extinguishing system. If this is ok, I will close again CB, switch on the batteries, then APU on button and whenever intake flap is open, I'll press start. And as you can see, APU RPMs are going up and we get it available. After test, we switch off the APU and after cooling time, APU shut down. Well, that's all from my side for today. Hopefully you learned something new. If you want to see more aviation content from my side, take a look on one of these two videos. Don't forget to subscribe for new incoming content. And I will see you next one. Bye.